Y'all, this is really all back with another video. Yes, son, today we have to talk about this blockbuster trade. But before we get into that, I need y'all to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because we are on the ground with thousand subscribers. And with y'all, I know I can get there. But with all that being said, we got to jump into this because obviously I think it's a winner. I think it is a loser in this trade, but I also know it's a finesser in this trade, right? And the finesser is no other than the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? Kobe Altman deserves a raise. He deserves a clap he deserves a pat on the back kobe altman i don't know how you got into this third team trade i don't know how you just finesse jared allen i don't know how you got terry and prince but good job you did what you had to do we did not expect this no fan expected this anybody who said they knew the cleveland cavaliers was going to get in this deal is a liar a blatant liar and long story short kobe Congratulations, you are the man. Now, for Houston and the Brooklyn Nets, Brooklyn Nets is the is the team I think is the winner, right? They won this trade because they literally did not give up any of the assets that Houston originally said they wanted. To be honest, to be honest, Brooklyn Nets really they held true to their gun. They did everything I said they was gonna do. I said Brooklyn was gonna use this as leverage in order to get James Harden for a lower deal, which they did, right? Honestly, I feel like the Cleveland Cavaliers taking my bias aside because you know this is my team. I think the Cleveland Cavaliers did a better job trading than the Houston Rockets did, right? Yes, the Houston Rockets got a whole bunch of first round picks, but let's be real. When you got Kevin Durant, Kyrie, and James Harden. Four of those first round picks is not going to be prevalent. And I know they're still first round picks because I get on them all the time saying, hey, man, y'all basically traded all y'all picks. But the Houston Rockets is going to have to get pretty darn lucky in the late of the first round to really get a talent. Is it possible? Absolutely. But the chances of it is just so low. It's like if they get it, it's just it's more it's more their development staff or more their like their scouters than anything you get what i'm saying so which brings me to the houston houston is obviously the loser right because yes they just got they traded karis levert for victor aladipo but honestly i don't think that's a good deal because they're gonna end up having to pay victor aladipo john wall i love john wall y'all know how i feel about john wall but i don't think this team right here is it they could be, they can make it to the playoff but in terms of the long term this is going to be a very tough team to watch in the long term. And I, I just don't feel like the Houston Rockets really made the smartest decision. And I don't think they was really patient when it come to trading James Harden, man. I have to get back to Cleveland because I just released a video, right? Uh, which I did not expect to drop today. I actually wanted to drop it uh, Thursday. But because of the circumstances, I'm like, I got to drop it now, man. To get it traction, to make it give it a fair chance, I got to drop it now. But... In terms of Cleveland, Cleveland is in a weird situation now because, like I said before, before I felt like we can make it to the playoff, but now I really think we can make it to the playoff. And with all that being said, I think now we have to trade Andre Drummond and Kevin Love. We got to trade both of them now because Jared Allen is basically doing what Andre Drummond is doing, but at a younger age and at a cheaper price, which means Andre Drummond got to go because we're not benching Drummond right and to be honest i don't want to bench jared allen because i want to give him the time to play i want him to hoop right we can keep javel mcgee he's been given some legitimate minutes as a second uh secondary center and we still got thon maker i think it's about that time to trade andre drummond look at trade packages and i'm sure kobe altman is looking at some because i mean if kobe altman somehow got into a third team uh trade and managed to get jared allen i'm i'm sure kobe altman got some up his sleeve man like i like it should be nobody questioning kobe altman's skills right now because Kobe Altman is the man. I, I, like, hands down, he's the man. But with all that being said, I want to hear down in the comments below how y'all feel about this blockbuster trade. And if you think the Cleveland Cavaliers should move in a different direction, or do y'all feel like the Cleveland Cavaliers should keep Andre Drummond alongside Jared Allen and Kevin Love, Don Maker, and JaVale McGee? Oh, uh, damn. Hell, uh, oh. Sandwich. Sandwich. And for more amazing content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the grind. And with that being said, go. Hey, hey, motivated all about cash flow, ran it up and ran out of excuses. In the field, and we turn into hoops. For the clip, like bonds, we show. Just like some soldiers, we choke. Step back three, we hooping. We on house, just like Fortnite.